don't worry, I'm not contagious because I can't give it to you through the screen. I'm just kidding. Every time I'm done getting sick, I always end up with acute bronchitis. Like that's just how I've always been since I was little. But it's not contagious, it's just something that my respiratory system always ends up getting because I also have asthma. <laughs> I don't have the coronavirus because I don't have a sore throat, I don't have a fever, and I don't have an active cough. Every time I cough, it just produces a lot of phlegm, so I've got a lot of that. So today, I thought I would share with you how I usually recover when I'm sick, my sick day routine, and also I have to go to work, but I'm not contagious. There is so much going on in the world right now and other than being a YouTuber, I am also an elementary school teacher and a health and wellness coach. So there's a lot going on where I have to, you know, explain to people and remind them it's going to be okay. We just need to wash our hands and be mindful of the things that we touch. My school is actually moving towards online learning next week. Just thinking about, you know, preparing my students, my eight-year-olds, my nine-year-olds, how to learn on the computer where Miss Lee is going to either be webcamming or just projecting things for them and giving them worksheets for them to work on from home is interesting. So I always like to start my mornings with a smoothie. And in terms of what smoothie I choose, I literally wake up and just think, what am I craving and what do I want to drink? So today I'm going to go with a green smoothie because I feel like that includes a lot of vegetables that I normally wouldn't eat. Almond milk is essential. I put almond milk in all of my smoothies. I always get unsweetened almond milk. Yesterday, I literally tried to make this smoothie and I had gone to Whole Foods to get cucumbers and the whole display case said cucumbers. But it really ended up just being zucchini and I was like, I'm not putting zucchini in my smoothies. So I had to try again yesterday and I went to Trader Joe's, got my cucumbers and turns out Trader Joe's looked a lot like this. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But I managed to get my cucumbers. So I always add about 10 ounces of almond milk. Uh, until I can't see the blade anymore. Now these. Oh my gosh, I just dropped some. Okay, so pineapples are really important in this smoothie. So you can get fresh pineapples. I got these frozen ones from Trader Joe's. Yes, they are in plastic. I'm sorry. and we let it go. Okay. I also always start my mornings with prebiotics because that's going to help my digestive system and it's going to provide everything I need to kill any bad bacteria. I also like to drink a lot of warm things when I'm feeling sick or when my throat is bothering me. The tea I like to drink is this organic turmeric herbal tea. So turmeric is good for anti-inflammation and so that's why this tea I find helps my throat and my body. I also love the way that it tastes. It's like semi-sweet, semi-spicy. <laughs> Hot. So I thought I would use today to show you how to provide your body with a little extra TLC. If you're starting to feel sick or you think you might be sick, I feel like these are ways that you can help bring comfort to your body. Okay, now I gotta go to work. <laughs> Honestly, this is nothing. I think I'm wearing this wrong and it's very uncomfortable so I'm just, you know, gonna be careful <laughs> and I don't think I need a mask. Wow, got really hot under there. <laughs> Completely forgot my umbrella so my sweater was just soaked so I switched into this fuzzy hoodie and my PJs because I love being in my pajamas as soon as I can. Whenever I am feeling sick, I like to use On Guard. I also have this Warrior blend. They actually smell pretty similar to me. This one has orange peel and I just love the citrusy scent because it makes me feel like I'm getting better already. Uno, dos.
dress. Okay, put you on there and something else I also like to use when I'm feeling a little congested is I turn on my humidifier and you can also make it warm because it is cold outside. Okay, that's too much. It's gonna turn really foggy in my room. First, I wash my hands because, you know, we gotta. What song do you sing in your head while you wash your hands? I usually sing Happy Birthday twice. <laughs> Well, apparently, this is all the rice that I have. Now, the most important part is soaking it in water for as long as you can. So I'm gonna soak it for about 30 minutes. And then I got some of this shrimp. So I'm just going to add a couple into some cold water to let it defrost. So because my school is moving towards online-based learning for next week, I am busy trying to upload everything onto my teacher page so that my students can access it from home. I am still going to work, but at least they are in their homes safe and then teachers are not exposed to as many students and people in general. Hey, God bless you, Jimmy. You okay? You need a tissue? Okay. <laughs> God save us all, my God! But now I'm going to take off the tail of my shrimp and just kind of cut it up. If you have seen me cook before, then you'll know that I barely measure anything. I just like throw things in based on how it looks and I'm like, eh. I mean, with porridge, you can't really mess it up. You just need to make sure you add more water than you do rice and then it'll just start to cook and soften. That's about it. But now I'm going to take off the tail of my shrimp and just kind of cut it up. So after that, I pretty much just try to relax in my bed and I watch Netflix and I take it easy. So I don't really like to work out when I'm sick because one, I don't want to get other people sick and two, it's really hard for me to breathe. So it's fine to take it easy. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. By the way, I think it's so important for us to take preemptive measures to take care of our health before things get bad. So before you might end up getting sick or ill or something else, we want to make sure we're taking care of our bodies every single day, even when things aren't going wrong. And that's what's going to help us fight a lot stronger. Okay, bye!